Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's stream. Hopefully, everybody's having a good night. Oh, man, let me tell you, it has been a week. Appreciate the like already on the stream. Thank you for that one. That is awesome. So hopefully everybody's doing great tonight. Um, we've got another toy to unbox, basically. Um, that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, this might be a brief stream, but we're going to take a look at Creality's uh, CR Scan Ferret tonight. And get that out of the box and get that into the mix of upcoming, well, book load full of projects that I have planned um, to kind of get more material out on the channel and stuff like that and kind of broaden the horizon in 3D, in 3D printing that we're working on. Um, essentially, I want to broaden the horizon of not just making a print and painting it and making it nice, but how do we even get the model? Um, that's something that's kind of going to get into the mix, um, especially over the next few months. Because um, I'm on a big kick of making my own models. I want to make my own stuff and make cool stuff so yeah so if you're out there and watching the video go ahead and in the chat let me know where you are and let me know how your evening's going because that's just kind of important to the world but as you guys can see we've got the CR scan ferret on the desk we got the camera realigned here so you'll notice compared to the mole that we unpacked last last week this guy's a lot smaller the mole box was big this guy is meant to be Something that, you know, you could throw in a backpack, throw in a purse, and take it with you. And scan on the go. That is the whole point of this little scanner. Do you need a computer? If you have Android, no. Otherwise, yes, you will need a computer. So let's let's just dive in here. Of course, we got my Sotar 2020 sitting there. Uh, just like the mole, got an awesome little... Nice hard shell case to uh, keep the scanner in. And what is customary that we do is the boxes go do that. So <laughs> but let's get in here and let's start taking a look at what's in the package here. So looking at the package, I mean, nice, small, good quality, nice fabric. Now yeah, let's pop that open. And... You can see in there, you guys can definitely see a size difference between the other scanner and this one. Because, uh, honestly, here's the scanner. Now, you guys saw last week with the mole, I mean, that thing was in my palm. That guy was huge. This guy is little. And that's the whole point, was to make it scanning quality on the go. Um, I will put a link out there to the scanner. So if you're interested in go checking out the specs and stuff, uh... It'll be in there. The link will probably show up tomorrow. So just FYI. But you guys can see this thing is teeny compared to the mole. Great job in an easy way. Software download QR code. Where did I put my mobile device? We kind of need my mobile device for tonight. Ah, hiding under my keyboard. Let's see, and I may be wrong, and there may be an app for this, and I don't know it. Hope this would be compatible with iOS. Let's find out. Nope. So that was my fear. You guys can see here, I've gone to the QR code, and it's Android um, or Windows. So. Doesn't look like this is Mac compatible yet, which is a bit of a problem because I'm either Windows 10 or Mac. I'm primarily Mac, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. But let's take a look at what else is in here. So we've got the stand with USB ports. And keep in mind, the one cool thing about the stand is this is a power bank. So it had this whole charge to run this little guy. So, and it's a nice tripod, which makes life easier. Then we've got our joint connector. 
because that screw and this screw are different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in place. So I don't know if this is going to work with the Mac scanning software. So we will have to explore that and find out. Because you guys notice there's some cool looking models sitting there that we could have some fun with. We get our stand screwed in here. There we go. Now this is supposed to be compatible with allowing the phone to also be um, in the loop. So at that point you would undo, basically it becomes a, a stage in here. Um, doesn't look like I'll be able to use my iPhone and unfortunately, like I said, I don't own an Android device. But if you want to use the phone portion, you put your phone clamp in there. And this guy slips in. Make sure I've got that right. Yep. Well, you would want the scanner going that way. And that would slip in. You would tighten that down. And you would have it to where you can put your phone in, which I'll demonstrate here anyway. Um, I don't know if it'll hold my, because I've got the Max, so it won't hold my phone either. So I'll have to probably use a different clip. So that's the scanner. Now we got to get into all the bits. We got cables, we got other cables. We got silica beads. <laughs> that's all that's in the case. So, let's take a look at our cables here. So, USB-C, very nice touch, to USB. Or, you have the other cable that is USB-C to USB, which lets you go down to the power bank. And then this would let you connect your Android phone. So like I said, I don't have an Android device. So unfortunately that feature does not work for me. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but again, so the cool thing about this is you've got the power bank built into the handle. It's really good. It lets you have the scanner on the go, which is the whole point of this scanner. Um, let you have the 3D scanner on the go. If you've got the, a pixel or anything like that, you can mount your pixel right here and it connects right in with USB-C into your pixel and lets you use the phone to see what you're scanning. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I don't have a pixel or I don't have an Android. I don't even have an Android device. So we're going to have to try to put this up to the PC. So I will screw that USB cable in. So I won't be using the power bank tonight. And what I'm going to do, see if this will connect into the CR scan studio and see if my Mac can use this. I don't think it can though. But we're going to find out. Otherwise we will have to regroup next week on my Windows PC. And my Mac picked it up, but it's not pick the CR Studio doesn't pick it up as a as a scanner. Bummer. But what's fun is my Mac does pick it up as a camera but it's not picking up it in 3D scanning mode, unfortunately. I gotta get back to the right camera here. There we go. So on the go, that's a pretty handy, it's really lightweight. Um, there's almost no weight to this, um, but it works nice clean fit. You don't have to have the phone clamp in here. 
but unfortunately the problem for me with this is not fitting to my MacBook. And I'll show you here what I mean by that. Um, system requirements, Windows, Android, there's nothing for Mac or Apple iOS. So that is a bit problematic for me. I do have a Windows PC and a Windows uh, laptop. So we'll be able to do more with this, but unfortunately tonight we're not going to be able to because I don't have a Windows PC that I can pull into the stream right now. So that was just a quick unboxing of the, uh, the CR scan ferret. Very small, nice, lightweight looking. Like I said, very easy, very small. Uh, could easily throw this in a purse or a backpack and take with me on the road. Um, I'm going to do some more research, especially on the Mac side, because the reason why that is a little discouraging is... According to some pages, it says it's Mac compatible, but in other places, it's saying it's not. So maybe I got the wrong one. Uh, actually, no. And here's why. And I've got. To, I'll have to figure this out. Right there says it's Mac OS compatible. So maybe I've just got the wrong software. Let's find out. Let's see if we can get this thing working. That'd be fun. So maybe I'm just missing something. But again, when you come in here and look at your downloads, there's no Mac OS version here. So it says it's Mac OS compatible, but there's nothing for me to download. But I am noticing the Windows version is version 1.04, and I think I have something higher than that right now. So let's pop back. So I think I have the CR Scan 01. Yes, I do. So I have this. So is there a download for this that might be that older version? Maybe that's what I'm, I'm missing. So let's go to the official download center. Let's click on the ferret. The ferret has nothing. So I can't, the Mac OS part, maybe it's just not available to us yet. Um, but let's look at the CR scan, because I have this guy too and see if there's an older version. So I think I'm running 2.23. Um, what's the Windows version on right now? 2.57. Yeah. Bummer guys. Sorry. I apologize about this. I did not catch this sooner that this does not run on. There's no Mac OS available for it yet. Um, and I don't have an Android device to sit here and toy with it. So we will have to catch this one up later in a video. 
um, to show it off and show how well it actually works. But you guys can see here, I mean, that's about not a bad size at all. I love the power bank. I will get that charged up. And let's see what I can do about the Google part because that's a bit disappointing. So that kind of cuts the short stream, the stream kind of short tonight um, with the fact that this can't perform on Mac devices. Sorry, guys. Um, and I can't just cut over to a Windows device, unfortunately, because uh, my Windows device is use a different software because um, it runs Ecamm. So we'll get that figured out. And also, I plan on running a stream later this week in regard to the Creality CRM4. A lot of people have asked me how to create profiles. So I plan to uh, show you how I'm doing that. So definitely check us out later this week. Um, streams are going to become more uh, common um, as this is what I'm doing now. So make sure you guys are subscribed, sticking around for more live streams. Um, feel bad this one was kind of a bust, but I'll get something better out there for you guys because later this week we got to finish painting Doom Guy. Uh, we got to get him done. He is one of the top ones on my priority list right now, so um, we will definitely be diving back into getting him taken care of and getting him finished up. Um, and we'll see what I can do about getting this on a Windows device so we can actually play with them because you guys can see I've got stuff I want to scan, but unfortunately I can't scan because I'm Mac. Um, that is kind of a bummer to see that on the, the Max page, but I can't use it. So um, we'll have to figure that one out. So one step at a time, we'll get that problem solved. We'll get these scanners working and have some fun. So you got my word on that one, guys. But unfortunately, again, uh, this guy just no play ball with Maco. So we'll have to do a, a stream on the PC and go from there. So, but just so you guys do know, Doom Guy, he's still here, still making good progress, still got a lot of work to do on him. So, we will be continuing that project later on this week as well. So, sorry guys, sorry for the bum stream. Um, I do appreciate the likes if you're watching it, kind of the first look at the ferret. Um, so, more to come on the ferret as we kind of see things. I think kind of grow with that one. I think we're definitely, for me, it's a software impasse. I will have to do another stream um, from my Windows PC to actually get to play with the scanner. So uh, stick tuned for that and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys. Yes, I will see you guys next week and we'll have some more streams definitely as we gotta get those projects done. And hopefully we get to start streaming over on the other channel over there with some of the model builds and talk with you guys while I sit and work on models. So thank you guys. Uh, sorry for the bum out on this one. It happens every once in a while that we kind of have a bummer stream like this. Um, but uh, we'll come back with something fun next week, I guarantee. Uh, Cause you know, we've got the new Titan. I've got a commission sitting there of a low car class. The, that's gonna be the USS Berlin. And all kinds of stuff that still needs to work on on the desk. And you can kind of see over here I've even got another StarCraft figure that needs work. So uh, kind of keep that in mind. And I've even got a Rosanati upstairs. I think I'm going to bring down and we're going to start painting on the channel here. So we'll get back to that Starship goodness here next week, I promise. So thank you guys. We'll catch you in the next stream.